Okay, you basically say it in your first contention. You talk about it like a space. Could you explain to me how that really works? Well, a space is a government is a government website that you could program designers, you could analyst, you can analyze and create personal profiles Wait, who and can? users. Users, so I could go on a space and have an account on a space. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. But that doesn't make sense. Like in your contention, you talk about how like government, like agencies are like talking to each other and collaborating and all this stuff. But it seems to me that you don't really understand your argument. Well, okay. To better clarify, A Space is an intel intelligence community and an analyst for for government officials. So government officials are saying, "Hey, Tom, this is what's happening." No. In no, no, no. Government officials go on ASPACE and and communicate with each other to tell what's going around. To tell what's going around. To tell the but you just told me that like I can go on these sites and do all these things. Anyways, this is basically going nowhere. Can I ask another question? Go ahead. Like you talked about how LinkedIn in well, like LinkedIn has like getting all these professional jobs, get all these jobs, but how many jobs have they really created? Because it seems to me it's like, if I told you I won the lotto, it could be very deceiving. I could either win millions of dollars or I could win two dollars. So I don't, I can't really tell. Like you tell me that LinkedIn in is like getting all these professionals when at the same time, like where is your s statistic on that? One second, please. Okay, so while you're looking th for that, would you like to ask a question? Um, um, yeah, can we see all of your evidence for your, um, for your, for your case? Oh, wait, like, what? <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, so for the $759 billion. For the, for the $759 billion, can we see the evidence that it's really to the United States and not any other country? Yeah, but what you fail to realize that is that when the $759 billion, it is not truly just social networking's fault, but what you really have to look at is that social networking sites, like let me put this in an analogy. If I have a gun, right, a nine millimeter pistol, right, and I'm like shooting around, that's basically like Minesweeper, Solitaire, but I get bored of that. But social networking is like a bazooka. When I get this bazooka, that's all I want to do is shoot this bazooka at, at eight o'clock, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock. I want to shoot this bazooka all the time and it's extremely addicting and that's why you have to look at the $759 billion because it's taken up majority of that money. Lost the productivity. First, we're going over my opponent's case before reinstituting points in my own case. In my, uh, in my opponent's first contention, they mentioned how social networking benefits society. And first, they talk about how different medical uh, people use social networking sites to call for help and how they're very popular, so then it makes it easier to contact people. However, they never give us any examples. They clearly make an assumption that social networking site helps these medical areas and that supposedly social networking sites is beneficial to them, however they have no warrants or no evidence supporting this theory that because social networking sites are popular, that indeed they're being uh, used for medical reasons. Secondly, on that point, they talk about how, uh, and they never state like how many people actually use it, like anything could be used for any reason, however they never justify that they're like specific sites that are strictly dedicated to helping people find medical support. Further going on in their first contention, they talk about um, A-Space and how government agencies use A-Space to communicate with each other, but as it was brought up in CrossX, they don't really know how this, how A-Space actually works. Like they clearly conceded to the fact that anyone can go up and sign up on A-Space so that anyone can like get into the government or get into what the government is doing, which in no way benefits America because all this information is being thrown out at you and it can be very unsafe.
Secondly, they never they stated that they could stop an Al Qaeda attack. However, they don't give any examples of any attacks that have in fact been stopped as a result of A space. Uh, in their second contention, they talk about business and how in 2008 and 2007, how like a billion dollars was made in Facebook through like downloads and through music and through uh, advertisements and how there's 50 million in 2008 for other sites like Facebook and how um, Sony and MySpace are collaborating so then that promotes less piracy. However, like they're pretty much throwing out a whole bunch of numbers like in all of like in all the things that social networking has supposedly gained us like how much money is like that really being done in our case in our second in our first contention we talk about the 759 billion dollars that is lost and looking at like uh 50 million dollars here and then maybe a billion there how does all of all of the money that we supposedly made equal 759 that is lost and because of this, you can't infer that more money is being made than is lost because we can clearly see that it's not. And uh, in the latter part of their second contention, they talked about LinkedIn and how it spread across the world and how 47% of businesses use it to find jobs. However, as also brought up in CrossX, they never stated how many jobs are made. And secondly, these are people are spread across the world. How does that benefit the United States? If anyone can go on LinkedIn and find people across the world, that could be losing jobs for the United States because these jobs are in other countries. And now because time allows, I'll be going over the points in my own case. Our first contention, we talk about how uh, the, there's loss of productivity and how the average spender spends 203.9 minutes every day on MySpace and 172.1 minutes on Facebook. And the economy can't grow if so much time is being devoted to something that only wastes time. It's only less productive by using social networking sites, and that in no way uh, benefits the economy or benefits society. And in our second contention, we talk about how social uh, networking promotes isolation and how it makes people more isolated from society. And for all these reasons, I strongly urge a negative ballot.